At game time, the excitement was at fever pitch at the popular UD bar called Milano's. Hillary Zala was there for the big party. She joins us live now where it is certainly much quieter. Hi, Hillary. And Jackie Milano's was packed to maximum capacity, actually. Still a lot of people here tonight. Just happy that you know what? We made it to the Elite Eight. Take a look. It was a nail-biting end to a huge ride for the Flyers. In the final few seconds, this was the crowd at Milano's, still loud and proud for their team. It would have been nice to see them go further this time, but at the task they went further than we could imagine. We're so proud. Kathy Wenzel and her family are three generations of UD graduates. We were here in 84 when Velvet Chapman and this team was really a true team. It was everyone was a star. No one really expected us to go this far. I had Dayton winning my whole bracket, um, but you know, just had to say it. You gotta love the Flyers. Flyer faithfuls packed Milano's tonight. At one point, the restaurant was at full capacity. Fans had to wait in a line outside to get in, all for the hope of making the final four. We're definitely gonna be back next year in a threat. And next year, we can officially say it's only been one year since making the Elite Eight. Uh, I can't wait for next year. Everybody watch out because we're coming for you. And we talked to fans as they were leaving Milano's right after the game. They said they're going straight to the UD ghetto on Key Faber Street to see if anything was going on. Since not much was happening there, they are now back here on Brown Street, headed to Milano's and the bars down here. And there is extra police force down here as well. Reporting live in Dayton, I'm Hillary Zala for ABC 22 News.